Good morning, everyone. This is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com, bringing you another update for Tropical Cyclone Heidi. Today is January 11, 2012. We're going to take a look at this using Google Earth first. I'm going to zoom in on Tropical Cyclone Heidi. It's got a very good, uh, well-defined storm system still as a tropical cyclone as it moves on through and continuing to increase in size and decrease in size as it moves closer to land. So we're going to take a look at that real quick using MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. As you can tell, we are on condition red because of Tropical Cyclone Heidi. I'd like to zoom in so we can take a closer look on the updated information. Here is the path of Tropical Cyclone Heidi. Not much to really look at because we already know it's real close to land. And here is the radar down below. For those of you who can uh, update your Java and take a look at this radar, definitely take a look at it. Uh, it does require Java. If you click on the latitude longitude uh, button here, it'll actually bring up the longitude and longitude location and update so you can see that. And if you take a look, it looks pretty close to land already on the radar. So we'll keep an eye on that. But according to the JTWC, it, it looks like it's going to be about 15 hours before it completes the landfall. And let's take a look. It says warning number three from the JTWC at 0900 GMT. Position is 19.2 degrees south, 119.0 degrees east. Location 80 miles north northeast of Port Hedland, Australia. Movement 200 degrees south at 8 knots. Maximum su sustained winds 45 knots, gusting to 55 knots. Computer strength to a tropical storm. Winds 34 knots or higher occur within 40 to 70 miles of the center. Threatened landmass right now is Western Australia, specifically Pilbara. Maximum significant wave height is 12 feet. Next warning from the JTWC is at 2100 GMT. All right, we're taking a look at the update here. It says Heidi is moving south towards Pilbara coast and the storm will intensify up to landfall, which means it'll continue to intensify until it gets to land and which will occur within about 15 hours, followed by rapid dissipation as it moves on land. Australian warnings, you need to take a look at that for people in Australia, specifically for those of you who currently are in Walla to Dampier, including Port Hitland, Roeburn, Karatha, and Damper and extends to adjacent island parts. Take a look at the updated warnings and alerts. Please take a look at the red alert updates, basically the locations that I just read off. Port Headland and South Headland need to keep an eye on this storm system as it continues to move on through. We'll continue to see tropical cyclone strength weather in that area and other locations. So check out those warnings and uh, updates right there on MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. I will attempt to post further updates as it becomes available. So once again, we are in condition red due to possible landfall and will make landfall actually in Australia for this storm system. My folks out there who are subscribers in Australia, thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I appreciate your help. And again, check it out. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page while you go to the website here and click on it. There's a Facebook link, so just click on the Facebook image and it'll take you straight to the Facebook page. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And have a great day.